What's happening, fabulous YouTube? You got your dual CD Sean doing the unboxing of a uh, nice price, hopefully a high performance uh, knockoff of the Epicenter, the Block Hunt EP 1600 uh, X. $37 on Amazon, so your wife can't even trip. But Pete, when you first get your base processor, you need to find out what range you want to be in. Because Sometimes they come way down here in the lowest range. That's why people say they don't like them and they don't do nothing for them. Put this mug in the 7.5 volt range. Now, if you're running 15s, you can put it all the way to the top. But I'm running 12s, not too much power. So I'm running at 7.5 volts. And uh, I changed the, uh, the inputs to the balance inputs because it was on the unbalanced side. It said it's supposed to come. On the balance side, but it's on the balance side now. They got this extra spot where if you got get ground noise in your hookup, you can switch it up to the top or to the bottom position, and uh, whichever one works for your system, that'll be the one you use. But you make sure you do it with the system, you know, unpowered, basically off, right? You should know that. But yeah, you know. Part two is going to be tomorrow or the day after when we hook it up to the new sub app we got going on and uh, see how much power we got. And it's another thing a lot of people don't know. The epicenter needs to be the first thing in your sound chain. Well, you, of course, your deck's going to be first, but the epicenter needs to be second. It sends its signal to the equalizer. Most people equalizers nowadays got to cross over in it. So it's going to send a uh, signal to the different amplifiers for you. But here's the main reason why it's the first thing. It does a sound frequency of 10 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. Basically the whole human hearing spectrum, not just bass. It's going to bring your signal to noise ratio up. And look how low that uh, THD is. That's the distortion. That distortion number is low. Super low. So, one of these can improve a cheap deck. One of these can really bring the most out of a cheap deck. If you know what you're doing when you hook it up. But yeah, we're going to find out when I hook mine up. Because my little 5 channel ain't giving me enough bass. I'm going to undo the bass part of the amp. And just use it as a 4 channel. And when the new sub amp comes tomorrow... Or the day after, that's when we're hooking up that new base. So, uh, you know, you tune in for that part two, and you'll see what it do. Peace. Like, share, subscribe. Deuces.